Well, before we arrived, and even after we arrived, we were told quite extensively that boilies just don't work on here, and it's an out and out particle water. Don't bring any boilies bigger than 10 millimetres, bring little bits of particle and so on and so forth. Now, fishing like that is all well and good, but my style and my strength is, is more boily fishing and I think it's important wherever you go to try and fish to your strengths. That's really important. You do what you're confident in. Now, I have put a couple of rods out on particle because sometimes the local knowledge and advice, it, it would be unwise to ignore it, but I couldn't resist putting in these boilies. I've had a look at the fish in the lodge, the pictures of those fish, I mean, they're great big, huge, they look like boily eating machines to me. Great big fat mirror carp. So, I couldn't resist putting in these boilies. I've got total confidence in the cell and activate, which I've mixed together. I'm putting in both baits and uh, I'm getting them out about 80 yards into an area which is, well, really, again, it's the opposite of what we've been told. It's, it's deep and it's extremely soft, very, very silty. I mean, you can hardly even feel the lead hit the bottom. So what I'm thinking is if I can get a nice spread of boilies around that area, it's not going to seem to the carp, which are pressured in this lake, like a trap. It's not a small clearing in a weed, it's not a clean, hard patch of gravel. So if they come into it, I'm hoping they'll start picking up the baits without even realising they're being fished for. And that would be a really big advantage. If I can get them coming in, there's a stray boilie, dropping down, having a boilie, moving on, there's another one a few feet away. You can get them start feeding and start eating the boilies without them realising that there's any trap involved. And that can be quite a potent trap, especially for big fish, when you get them moving around. I mean, I've got probably six or eight kilos out there now, and uh, I'm going to top it up, maybe if I, if I do get a bite and it works, I'll put in a couple of hundred every time, and I'll just keep it going out there. But um, I think it's, it's important to, to get that spread over a wide area so it does not look like a fishing situation. Probably maybe a couple of foot between each bait over an area the size of a tennis court perhaps. It's weedy, there's blanket weeds, silt, far from ideal fishing bottom conditions really, what we would be told and what we might perceive. But I'm going to fish in that because it's the opposite. I'm going to use boilies because it's the opposite and if it works I'll be made up. Well, I've had five in a night from an area that I've baited heavily with boilies. Fishing out in open water, in the silt, no gravel, really flying in the face of what's been working on the lake. And it's given me a major buzz to come here and so far have done it my way. I don't know what the rest of the trip's going to stand, but it's a great start. Really pleased with that. Oh my word. Well, as you can see, it's really kicked off. Total carnage in the swim. I haven't got a rod in the water. I've got no rigs made up. I've got old rigs, wet slings, just, just general chaos and destruction. I need to sort my life out, really. But, boy, has it been worth it. I've had the best night's fishing I've had in a very long time. Seven fish I've caught now, and, uh, and a couple of big ones. And they've all been fantastic fish. They've fought really well, and it's been a real buzz best thing about it all on the boilie so the gamble has paid off and that's only really the first night so hopefully I can make it continue to roll a bit more the fish are still out there there's one just showed over the bait I'm surprised there's any left actually so I'm going to keep that going in the only worry I've got now is you know sort of seven bites and the recast and everything they've done me through sort of best part of 10k now so I haven't got a lot of boilie left and I'm that's my only worry is that I might run out 